Joe. Why does Joel even tell his name? Doesn't he like suspect anything? In the first game he could have suspected some shit, but now he's way too chill. Way too chill. <laughs> Joel, I think now it's the time to take your gun and shoot them. <laughs> Try at least. The point of this video was that I wanted to compare Joel's death to Lee's death. Uh, Joel and uh, Lee are very similar. Like, they are not similar characters, but they both uh, were like main characters of zombie game. They both died, but Lee's death is handled way better than Joel's. Mm -hmm. Joel's death doesn't really feel deserved. Uh, Lee's death I have to agree that Lee's dead is not um, like perfect dead, but it's way better than Joel's. <laughs> because when Lee gets bitten, he's not like, he's not like, oh my god, I'm bitten, Kenny, um, shoot me. Okay, <laughs> Joel's dead feels very bad because um, the person who kills him uh, is a person that Joel actually saved. And that person doesn't really show any remorse and later the game tries to justify her actions Joel, no. and you know what what annoyed me in this scene when i saw this the first time i was thinking like um uh how do you know this Joel is the actual Joel miller and when they heard that that his name was Joel, they immediately like attacked him what if he wasn't the actual Joel? I think they knew that Tommy was his um, brother, but still, that's kind of messed up if it wasn't actually the re actual guy. Guess, bitch! I'm I'm sorry, but <sighs> you're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, bitch? If Joel gets killed, he should have get killed by a person that is actual dread and and not this early. You don't get to rush this. You don't feel any remorse. Remorse, and you're killing an old man that killed your dad. But still, bitch, <laughs> try to. I don't know. It's annoying <laughs> as hell. Look at that. Is that fun? Is that fun way to kill off your first game's main character? That's not fun at all. Put it down. Get off me. Is this fun? Is this fun to you? Like I'm getting mad, but still it's not right. They beat your first main character down. They really, really wanna you to make angry and we are angry at the game. I think most of us are. Some people, if you like this game, I don't care. If you like this, then fine, but I don't like this at all. Joe gets brutally beaten up to death. Don't fucking get up. At least he saw that Ellie actually cared about him. Please stop. That's at least one of the good things that he actually saw that Ellie cared about him. But still, it's so sad and it's so fucking messed up because it's so like shock value it should be more emotional and this reminds me of the game of thrones season eight <laughs> so much Joel, please get up. <gasps> this didn't feel right it happened too fast it was too brutal and so big character didn't deserve to go out like that there were so many problems if we saw more flashbacks before this scene Maybe it could have worked better, but it doesn't work. And it feels so disrespectful. <laughs> and this doesn't, this thing doesn't help. This. That doesn't help at all. It feels like that person is actually spitting at the fans, like, ugh. Uh, on the other hand, Lee is dead. It's not about anger. Lee is actually telling Clementa the things she needs to do. And there are two options what you, what you wanna do. But 
Personally, I prefer shooting Lee. This, this ending is about emotion. It's not about anger. It's not about shock value because we know what's gonna happen to him. Even though it's not fun that some fucking random walker beats him. He did something before he died. His goal was to protect Clementine and he actually completed that. His death is so full of emotion. It's so different compared to what Joel got. This might not be the perfect dead, but I think this is good dead, at least. So much better what Joel got. <laughs> oh, fuck that. <laughs> uh, I think the problem is that they went with hate. The problem was that they should have, um, respected Joel's character way more. Usually when people are doing sequels their problem is that they don't respect the other characters, previous characters that much. If you do a sequel you need to leave the old stuff completely behind but if you want to uh, continue with the old characters you should respect them. And I have to agree that The Walking Dead hasn't always done that the best. Because uh, the New Frontier actually sucks at it. Because New Frontier actually treats the old characters like shit. What happened to Kenny and what happened to Jane was something, something very dispre disrespectful. I have to say that I love the flashback scene so much. And especially the last scene of the game where Joe and Ellie are talking and Joe say... If somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment... I would do it all over again. I got chills and I got so sad, but they handled his death so poorly. He deserved so much better. Uh, the problem is that it happened too early and how it happened was so disrespectful. Uh, no. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Oh. Please stop. This breaks my heart. Please don't shoot. Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! 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 Played anything. I don't understand. Oh my god, are they gonna fucking kill Ellie next? What the fuck is going on here? I got- I got so many questions. Oh my god. Ellie? Ellie. I don't- I'm sorry. I don't even wanna play anymore. <laughs> what is happening? No. Oh my god. Joel's and Ellie's relationship was one of the things that I was really expecting. And most of the people were, that were huge fans of the first one wanted to see more Joel and Ellie. And they got the flashbacks. But like I think many people have said that maybe if the things were in a different order, maybe then you could say that this game is way better. But still, Joel's dead was bad. This doesn't feel right. 
because in, at this point of the game we don't know these characters. Joel, we play Joel in the very early and after that we learn that Joel and Ellie has some beef. There's some beef between them. But we, we are like expecting to see Joel. And we get to see him just a few minutes and after that he gets killed. That happened way too soon. In Least Dead there was the whole season that actually made us love him. And then he dies. Um, in this game they try to pull up Joel. They try to remind us about Joel. But there was too little time. And that's why it doesn't work. Because with Lee we had the whole season. We had the same thing with Joel too. But the difference is that that there is actually a seven years of wait before the other players can actually get to play The Last of Us 2. And uh, that's the problem because Liz's death happens in the first game and Joel's death happens in the second game and because there is seven years of wait and in the and the second game relies on and the second game relies on um, the first game and doesn't really give us much of new stuff, it doesn't work. And the flashback scenes show that they can write they can write a good stories. And it just makes me heartbroken because many of the flashback scenes were brilliant, but it just made my heart hurt and as the final one was brilliant. It was so brilliant that I got chills and I, I cried and they could have done so much better with him and the whole game. But they ended up going the hate route and that wasn't the smartest decision. There are many more problems in this game, but I wanted to cover the Joel stuff because Lee is a good example how to kill off the main character and Joel is not. Thank you for watching and hopefully you liked my video. I'm sorry English is not my native language, okay? <laughs> my English sucks! Uh, I'm sorry, but if you understand and if you like my content and my rant, Please subscribe, I will be really happy and I hope you have a good day. Arigatone, see you next time, peace out.